I would like to share with you how you can collaborate with other teachers or with students using Google Apps. The app we're going to be using is Documents, but what I demonstrate will also be applicable to spreadsheets, forms, presentations, and other Google Apps. I've already signed into my account. If you haven't signed in, you need to be sure you do that. I'm going to go to my drive. I want to do a document, so I'm going to click on Create and a document. Now it's really important that you set up your sharing. In order to be able to collaborate, you have to share. So I'm going to click on share right now. It's private to only me. I'm going to name my document. Okay. Right, so right now, it's on the owner and it's private only to me. So I'm the only one that can access it, that can see it, that can edit it. I want to change that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, say that I want anybody at LISD with a link. So I will click on that one. There's not one perfect one to do. Uh, you just have to kind of decide how you think you're going to be using this. I, Since we're collaborating, I want to change from them to be able to view it so that they can edit it and then I can save it. I need to decide now how am I going to get this file to other people. I can copy the link and I could post it on school web. I could include it in a personal email to anybody that I wanted to send it out to uh, through my Outlook or other personal email. Uh, so I could copy the link. That's one way. Another way is I could add people. Uh, and put in their email addresses. And this takes a little bit longer. So if I would click in here, if I don't already have the email addresses and I've copied them, uh, I would start to type in names. So let's do Julie Walton. I know it's, a, it's Julie that's a teacher because it's at staff, not at Go. So I would click on her. I could add anybody else that I wanted to. I could have them notified through email and I could even put in a message. Okay. And then I would click on, let's see if I can move down here. I've got a save button, sharing and save. And then when I've got everybody's name in who I want to do it, I would press on and click done. Now I've set up my sharing so that other people can have uh, this file and can work in it also. That's how I would share to collaborate.